Increasing Earth observation data and growing diversity of data sources and formats are creating a dense environment. It is well known that to make data findable, we need metadata, but it also has to follow a common language to be useful. The problem is an identifier of a product could be called an ID by some and UID by others. This is when standardization comes into play. Using the same name for the same thing and a definite rule set makes searches easier. Using standardized metadata plays an important role in establishing the FAIR principles. Findable metadata is key for finding actual data, as well as reproducing and validating the results. Similarly, using a standardized communication protocol for reading metadata simplifies access. Commonly used formats enables the combination of multiple data sources and the main goal of open science, reusability. Standardization allows scientists and users to spend less time on finding and preparing data and more on actual research. STAC stands for Spatio-Temporal Asset Catalog. It is a specification which provides a common structure for describing data connected to location and time. STAC plays an important role in metadata description as it is one of the most widely used standards. STAC describes products in detail and a combination of specialized extensions lead to the higher quality of the metadata. For example, dedicated extensions for SAR data aerial imagery and ML models operating over EO data enable many aspects of the EO environment to be described in a unified way. Stack catalogs can be static or served dynamically through an API. The Stack API specification adds the capacity for a refined search with sorting, aggregations, and transactions that make static stack catalog dynamic. As much as possible, the Stack API aligns with existing and in-progress OGC API standards. Hey, standardization might sound boring to you, but you know what's really boring? Going through satellite data and spending days figuring out names of search criteria.